Welcome back to another Platinum video and today we're playing Stardew Valley. And off the rip, I just want to say that this game is the most fun I've had playing with other people. Like, I just really want to admire on how this game handles the multiplayer aspect and how flexible everything is. And not only that, but we all share the same progress for some trophies, which is already a huge thing for me. With that being said, this game is a long grind, with the Platinum taking us a little over 100 hours. So sit back and relax as I document my experience towards the Platinum Trophy, starting at... Forget, the 7th is Lewis's birthday. Whose birthday? Lewis. Who the hell is Lewis? For my first trophy, I needed to catch 10 different types of fish. Now, the fishing is a hit or miss for some people, no pun intended, and that's because the fishing minigame is a completely different dance of its own. I think the hardest thing about this is that you have to hold down the action button to raise the bar and release it to drop the bar. And the rest of it is just you keeping up with how the fish moves. This was the most relaxing thing for me in this game and I would fish every chance I'd get. Of course this gets harder depending on the fish and eventually I'm going from having a relaxing time to fishing for my life. But for now, I'll leave my clueless past self in thinking that fishing is the easiest thing in this game. For the next trophy, I need to earn 15,000 gold, and this is pretty much what you're working for. All over the town, you can either farm, fish, or even get precious minerals from the caves. Everything you get, you put in a shipping box at the end of the day, and this would get you that sweet moolah when you wake up. This becomes easier when you're playing with other people, because the game totals everyone's earnings, so whenever I got to 15,000, everyone got it as well. Which, oh, or which body of water do you get sardines from? You know what's great? Oh, trophy. Oh, trophy. I got a trophy. Earn fifteen thousand gold. Wait, is that like is that like universal? Yeah, I guess that's. I got it too. Uh, so. While the others were doing their own thing, chit chatting and making friends around town, I was hard at work day in and day out. Be it sunny, rainy, or night, I was out there on the grind. And even if I ended up being the one loner kid at the town dance, yeah. first to ask you to dance. <laughs> Cancel oh, the request. <laughs> well, yeah. You can't just like, re <laughs> you can't just ask me to dance and then cancel it. Oh, Haley wants to dance with me. Sorry, Doc. Jody, oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. No thanks. <laughs> damn. She said damn. no thanks. <laughs> damn. Damn. I thought you were cool, Penelope. <laughs> Look at Doc. Well, it's too damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the darkest corner of this game. <laughs> Friends and lovers comes and goes, but the bread always stays. And like I said, when I started Stardew, I fell in love with the fishing, and I wasn't kidding when I said I fished the entire time. Which led me to catching 100 fish. I sell stuff. Businessman. Mm. Oh, true. Businessman. Mother catch. Catch 100 Mother fish. Catch. And obviously I was just kidding when I said the rest of my farmers were just goofing off because if they actually were, they would have been fired by now. But with the power of teamwork and straight up communism, our farm ended up generating a total of 15,000 gold. I refine, oh trophy, cowpo, earn 50 Gs. For the next trophy, I needed to reach the lowest level of the mines, which is 120 levels deep. Stardew was always known as that calm and relaxing game that anyone can jump into and enjoy right off the bat. But the mines are no joke, because if you come in unprepared, be prepared to lose a bunch of your stuff. Bruce was also with me venturing into the Dark Abyss, which made reaching to level 120 much easier than it was. Also, I just wanted to point out that if one of our friends managed to reach to level 120, the elevator floor for that area would be available for everyone else in the lobby. Oh, I found the uh, thing, by the way. Oh, I'm on 118. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Make that 119. Make that 120. Did you get the trophy? Yeah, I got the trophy. Nice. Did you have you stairs or something? Yeah, it was just... No, it was... I just went down and the ladder was right there. You found the skull key. I'm not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to my wallet. Do we have a wallet? I guess so. <laughs> Knowing my hard head itself, though, I wanted to reach that level on my own. And if you've watched my past videos, then you already know that when I try to do things the hard way, I get slapped. But if you're new here, then know that I do not give up until I get what I want. Straight motivation fuels my drive to get to my goal, and not even Zeus himself can strike me down when I'm at my peak. Unless I take a second L, and that's when I throw in the towel. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just going to 20... Ruby. 
the bottom. For the next trophy, I needed to catch 24 different kinds of fish. There are different places you can fish, and each place has different fish you can fish. Like the beach, probably the most common spot that people fish at. You can fish by the town river, up at the mountains, and even the trash. Where's Pei? <laughs> did, you just, did, you just get, did you just get a random fish from oh. the trash, Bruce? How do you see that? <laughs> For treasure trove, I needed to donate at least 40 different items to the museum. These are either artifacts or minerals. This can get pretty difficult because these artifacts and minerals are all RNG. Yep, the three letters you don't want to hear when going for trophies or achievements. So once again, I am glad that I have a full lobby of people specifically going for the platinum as well because this actually made it a lot easier. Which Bruce donated the 40th item for the team. Oh, oh trophy. treasure trove. The next trophy I needed to complete is to get 10 help wanted requests, which are found in front of Pierre's grocery store. Some of these are pretty quick to get, and the best part is that it is also a shared trophy for everyone in the lobby. So you know what that means. Yep, oh, trophy. Gopher. Complete 10 help wanted requests. What? <laughs> what did nice. I do? I didn't even do anything. For a new friend, I need to reach a 5 heart friend level with any of the villagers in the game. And for me, this is the hardest trophy in the game because I have to socialize with people. Jokes aside, it's really not that hard, but it does take a while for me to get this done since I could only give villagers two gifts a week. So after giving two gifts to anyone, I had to wait for another week to be able to talk to them again. The best way to get a bunch of hearts with someone is to give them a gift that they love. Even more if you give this to them on their birthday. If you miss their birthday, well, better luck next year, feel me? Just kidding, but it does speed up the process by doing so. Which the person that was trying to romance anyways' birthday was the day I started going for this trophy, I ended up making a new friend. Trophy. A new friend. We know where, where we're going. I'm gonna block your door, Doc. Y'all got, got, got 30 time. minutes. Oh my god, <laughs> just no. I like how they come in at the same time, too. Wait, did y'all make it? Yeah, they made it. Yeah. It's my bed. Yeah. <laughs> <In my bed. laughs> Starting off the day strong, and the first thing we end up doing is making that bread for 250,000 Gs. And if you know the American dream, if you have that much money, you know we're about to buy a house. But in this game, I really can't buy a new lot, so the next best thing to do is to upgrade our current house. So now I need to go to Robin in her workshop so I can upgrade my house, and it's not too bad since the house only costs like 10,000 Gs and 450. Wait, I also need to provide her with 450 pieces of wood? What kind of service she provide in here? Oh, I'll provide her with some wood or... <laughs> you, you know what, it's fine. Good thing I have some wood on my person, so I went ahead and purchased the upgrade and waited for a week or so to get the trophy. trophy. For the best friends trophy, I needed to reach a 10 heart level with someone. And in my case, I got Penny to 10 heart. It's been so long since I've fished, man. There are a lot of different skills to perfect in a game like farming, mining, combat, and that's right, fishing, baby! You already know after I wasted or uh, spent all my time with Penny, we went back to get that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Trophy. Reach a level. Trophy for uh, what? Level 10 oh, yeah. fishing. Let's go! Damn. And the last trophy I got this day is for crafting 15 different items. Bruce, are you pro jo Jojo? Yeah, dude, I see Pierre trying to charge 25k for some seeds. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, after that debacle, I'm like, eh. Day three already, and I think we're making pretty steady progress, and the first thing we did is to go for the Jojo Co. Member of the Year trophy. So after backing up my save, I went on ahead and sold out to the corporate overlords and sold our freedom and the rest of the towns as well. All for the sake of the trophy. After that successful trophy pop, I quickly downloaded my save from the cloud and pretended that the treason towards the townspeople never happened. For the cook trophy, I needed to cook 10 different recipes. In each of our cabins is a kitchen where we could make different meals with different effects for each. And honestly, I don't think anyone in our group ever used any of these recipes besides needing it for the trophy. And per usual, this man Bruce over here helping other people instead of making me and my, the farm money. Oh, and I ended up making 30 different items. And hours more of doing every possible ways to make money in the game, we finally reached 1 million Gs. Which should help with the trophy legend, and this is for earning a total of 10 million gold. 
So this is the face of a man who is both pumped up that we're making progress, worried that it took us this long, tired of all the hours spent on hard labor, and probably constipated from all the junk food he has consumed throughout this journey. Oh, Mini shipping nice. Bin. I didn't know. I'm going to try it. Ooh. I'm going to try it now. Oh, let's go. I'm going to start dropping my wife. Aww. What happened? Aww. He said, I gotta start what up happened, my wife. Man? Game's like, yeah, right. Star drop this. God damn. <laughs> Get star drop. said, what happened? That's crazy. <laughs> the next trophy I went for is called Monoculture. And this is the ship 300 of one crop. On the farming tab, it actually showed me on the number of times I shipped a particular harvest. When I saw that I only needed 39 more corn, I knew I got the life, so I decided to get this trophy out of the way so it doesn't keep falling away from me. Thoughtless, I rushed towards the shipping box and got my trophy the next day. No longer the freak on the leash under the reins of the singular trophy. I, you know what's crazy? I probably bought it if it's in the trophy. Nice. For the clicks trophy, I needed to reach a 5 heart friendship level with at least 4 people. And all I gotta say for this one is time management. Because you're going to end up running around town looking for literally everyone. And each of them has different preferences in terms of gift giving. Like these people are so picky for no reason. Just take my damn gift and pretend to be happy like a normal person, damn it. Oh, wow. Jody, I'm uh, Jody. I'm already seeing Haley. Oh, true. Stop asking me out. Oh, there you go. Wait, what? For the local legend trophy, I needed to restore the Pelican Town Community Center, and to do this, the community center are ran by these little ghost apple things, and I needed to deliver very specific things to each board on the center. A lot of balloons. Oh, Living large is for upgrading your house to the maximum size. This is also required for the trophy full house, and this is to get married and have two kids. And for some reason, the waifu refuses to start a family unless you're absolutely rolling in gold and can afford this huge house. Which makes sense, I, I guess. But in order to make this happen, let's go back to Robin and see what she needs now to make, oh, 50,000 Gs? It's reasonable, I guess. 150 hardwood? <coughs> What the f- Yeah, sorry. So after making the purchase, it was just a matter of waiting once again until Robin finishes her work. And that was the trophy. For the last trophy I got this day, it is called the Master Angler. And this is to catch every type of fish. I've been fishing since I installed the game up until now. So why the ominous music and the serious tone? Well, that's because included in these types of fish are the legendary fishes. These annoying little buggers only show up at a specific time and a specific condition in the season. That's right, a season. So if you happen to miss one, that means you're going to have to wait next year to catch them. Now, I'm not saying that all legendaries are hard. Some are quite simple, actually. But there were two that gave me some issues. Starting with my first legendary, the Crimson Fish. And this was dating all the way back to day one. I was doing what I love doing, and that's fishing. Until I gained access to the east side of the beach, where I found my first legendary fish. No. But this didn't stop me from catching this beast of a fish because not only was my fisherman's pride on the line, no pun intended, I also knew about said legendary fishes and I didn't want to let this one go. So from this being a hobby and a profession, it suddenly became personal. And with sheer determination and just the right amount of hard-headedness, I came out on top. Oh my god, it's so cool. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> Oh my god! You catch it? Yes. Was it a? Le oh, it was nice. Yeah. Oh yes, that's right there. Nice. With the sweet victory, it only lasted for a short while, because the last legendary fish I needed was the one fish I could not catch. This fish was the Moby Dick of my story, the Megalodon of the 20th century, the Bruce—no, the other Bruce—of Finding Nemo 
and the flats the flounder of my SpongeBob. I'm talking about the legend. On the year two mark of the game, I was beginning to wrap up the rest of my legendary fishes. The hardest thing about this fish is that you can only catch it during a rainy weather in spring. And it only rains maybe two to three times that month. So I had a very short window of success. So I cast my line and only relied on sheer experience and skill until. This is it. It is. Let's go. Damn, dude. That. This thing is freaking hard. It's. Welcome back. No. Oh my god, bro. Oh. I'm scared. What up? What up? What up, bit? Come here. I don't even have a bobber. I don't even have a good bobber. No, you're mine. No, you're not. You're not, you're not leaving. You're not. Mmm, I hate you so much. I'm not even gonna sell you. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, part two. He said, yep. You want some more? Damn it. You're gonna get filleted. I just this want man, you to know that. This man's still breaking his ankles. So I failed to catch the legend, and unfortunately for me, it ended up not raining throughout the rest of the month. So now I had to wait until next year to catch this legendary fish. Is it the crimson fish is in this uh, this one? Yes. This oh no, 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 it's spring. No, it's the oh freaking my. legend, dude. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I'm back. Uh, is it the, the legend? legend. I, thought, I thought that was summer. No, the legend is spring. I'm not 10 yet. I'm no, still I know line. it's spring because I've been freaking Damn dreaming it. about this moment. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So you're just watching you. It was like two, three hours of you fishing. Oh that my one fish. God. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears. And maybe a little bit of a cold from all the rain. I finally caught my arch nemesis, which now leaves me with one last fish to get the trophy. In game. Oh, trophy! Let's Yo, go. let's go. Then I was gonna watch you. Yo, yeah. trophy! Oh my god, my Free. kid's standing up. Oh, damn! I just tossed that kid in the air. That's awesome. Aww. <laughs> you just, and then you just eat him back yeah. in. It happened so fast. Oh, my kid's standing up. Yeet! But day five didn't have much in terms of trophies, and all we ended up doing is wrapping up all the museum collections, finding every star drop, which also involves some hardcore gambling, might I add. Oh, well, y'all know where to find me, because I'm about to go all in. You gamble, gamble. You gamble, Let's go, gamble. baby. Orange up. 600 stars. Everyone's watching, because they know I'm going to win. Sounds like you didn't win. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be right back. back to fishing. Yeah, I got, I got a fish. And now we go all in. <laughs> Wait, how much oh, is that? Three. How much is that star? Two K. Two K. Yeah, easy. Look, look at this. I, I, I've got it on lockdown. I'm a professional. <laughs> Let's freaking. Yep. Give my money back. Yup. Yup. Now Dang. I'm going all in. Again. It's going to green again. It's going to green. It's 50 50. You know? It's 50 50. 50 50. What is that? What is that? That's not even. <laughs> what happened? He lost. Oh. I won. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> that was in the middle. It's How? It, was it makes you feel better. I won. It was between the lines. Oh my goodness! Let's freaking go. I don't think gambling. I don't think gambling's for you. <laughs> you lost it all. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Under the green. Oh my god, he's back. Oh, oh god, he's back at it again. Oh god. Under on green. I can you know I can feel it. I can feel it. We're gonna be here all night. Let's go, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. man could have got it fishing like ages ago. We would have been done twenty. The ghost yeah, man was right. just fishing. Alright. <laughs> for real. Listen, he's gotta make it entertaining for the video, you know? <laughs> yeah, exa yeah, exactly. The, the video. It's for the video. Yeah. It's for the video. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I actually really want you Let's to. Let's go! <laughs> All right, another all in, and then Yay! we're done. <laughs> no, stop! Go no, fish! Come on. Come Go on. fish! <laughs> Go fishing! All in. All in. You were lucky enough. Go fish! No, don't listen to Bruce. <laughs> all in. Don't listen to him. Oh, now that I'm being, now that I'm being reasonable. <laughs> You're not gonna listen. All right, go all in. Go. Bet it all. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's go. Bet. Let's go. Let's go. It's go. It's going green. Oh my god. One more time. One more time. Wow. Three times. Three times to char. Let's get it, baby. I'm buying everything in this mess. Double or nothing. Double, Double or nothing. nothing. <laughs> no, stop. No, just five. No, just, just five hundred. No. Just five hundred. Just five hundred. Just five hundred. Just 500. You can, One you more. Can. One more. Okay, fine. The thing still. I bet on green again. Did I bet on green or orange? Am I gonna win? Matt. Matt, you don't even know. All right, you know, I'm gonna buy the star first, and I'm going back again. All right, hold up. Oh <laughs> no! Oh my god! And oh. maxing out all of my skills. Day six, I woohooed the misses to make more of these alien babies straight out of The Shining. Go oh, nice trophy. We friended oh. ten people and finished the Adventurers Guild's Monster Slayer goals, which took me five hours from what it felt like looking for these gosh dang dinosaurs. In day seven, I ended up befriending 20 people, I wanna die, cooked 25 recipes, reached the max friend level with eight people, which also took forever to do. Just to be safe. But on that note, 
can we all sleep in the same bed so when we wake up, it's all the plat together? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, might as well fine. sleep in my freaking house since this is like the. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. your bed. It's good. I was, I was thinking of that, but then I was like, I decorated my house. We're going <laughs> to. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. All of this. Go all these years. Yeah. Four years of sleeping in my house. Sleep over it, Bruce. For the disrespect. Get the Bruce's. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, oh. Right. I have like no attention span. You have Don't to worry, Bruce. Me. I'm watching your wife for you. Jesus. Welcome. Isn't it nice? No. Hi, everyone. If only, uh, if only Bruce bought like a, a a newer hat or something. <laughs> wow, Come we're on this. Hey, trophy. Trophy. That's good. Legend. Trophy. Yeah. Oh, quick. Quick. No. <laughs> God, yeah. We really got this cut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. my god. Dang. The fairy. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I don't know, Players? Game was like, oh, you trying to do some? Not today. He said, oh, I'm going to get the screenshot <laughs> of this fairy. Oh my god. Goddamn fairy. <laughs> Crafted every single item in the game, shipped 15 of each crop, shipped every item in the game, and finally became the Gordon Ramsay of Stardew Valley. And with two more trophies to that sweet and shiny platinum trophy, I thought this whole adventure was already a wrap. But little did I know that this one trophy is going to be the deciding factor of whether or not I'm getting this platinum. And this trophy is called Fector's Challenge which I'll need to beat the journey of the Prairie King without dying. It is definitely a challenge, but not an impossible one at that. So after solidifying my mental fortitude, it was time to beat the journey of the Prairie King. After three hours, however, time has caught up to me and it forced me to get off and to try again the next day. Normally a person can finish this arcade machine in minutes because again, it's not that long of a game. But with my handicap right now, might as well turn this little mini game into its own title. Because this whole ordeal took me another 7 hours to finish. And maybe it doesn't help that, to add some difficulty, I was doing this online. The difference between playing this arcade machine on single player is that time stops when you're in the game so you can just keep going. But when you're in the lobby however, the timer will keep on going until you pass out while playing. Which has happened to me a couple times this run. <sighs> Oh, five gold. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Am I making history right now? Are we making history right now? Is this the chicken sandwich that we've been like, looking for? Is, is, this, is this going to be my PB? Is this the PB? Is this the it world record PB? It might not be because you're about to pass out. But this didn't stop my determination in finishing this game once and for all. Even if I am making this a lot harder than it needs to be, I do have some cheeky methods as well. Since I have the edge controller for the PS5, I have extra buttons underneath my controller. And a little technique in this arcade is that if you close out the game without dying, you can actually restart that level and it would still count. So I map this to my extra button so whenever I think I'm about to die, it's pretty much my failsafe method. And again, if you've been watching me for a while now, you already know that any cheesy methods I come up with always backfires all over my face in the end. I got a little excited and accidentally squeezed a little too much. And just before I was about to finally beat the game, I, I closed out. You know when they say that you are your biggest enemy? Yeah. But welcome to my life where anything could be going as smooth as butter and I would just randomly drive off a bridge because of a sneeze or something crazy like that. Good. Good. Come on. Come on, yep. Keep summoning zombies, baby. Keep summoning them butterflies, boy. Yep. Come on. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. Come on. Yup. You're dead. Accept defeat. You're mine. Yup. 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 Wait. Wait. Let's free. What the hell did you do? What did he do? 
No way. Did he just back out by accident? No. He did not just back out by accident. And I already knew I was on tilt, so all my next attempts had the same outcome every time. That's until Bruce mentioned a cheesy blind spot in the game where you can easily beat the boss without dying, which I did not want to do because I wanted to do things legit. But then after having Vietnam flashbacks to that one time that my finger slipped, I pretty much beat the game. So with that reasoning, I said, screw it, and just decided to beat the final boss and getting the platinum trophy. Fingers are slipping. My fingers are slipping. Wait. Let's go. Let's go, Bruce. Let's yeah. go, Bruce. There we go. Give me that heart. Give me that plat. I'm done with this arcade machine. Whoever made this. I hope your I hope your toes already stubbed while you're sleeping. While you're sleeping, <laughs> I hope someone breaks into your house and stubs your toe and leaves your house and locks the door after they leave. But I hope they stub your toe while you're sleeping, while you're dreaming of sweet dreams. <laughs> Give me this heart. Let's freaking go. Duh, Barry Gay. Give me that trophy. Give me that plan. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Let's go! There it yeah, is! Yeah, there we go. Seal! This priceless treasure is the mark of a truly great farmer. Grandpa lives inside. Grandpa lives inside. What? And if you have reached it this far, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support. Seriously, like coming from the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving me the time of day. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already and maybe smack that like one time, you know. But yeah, um, until the next video, I hope that everyone has a phenomenal day. Trophy!